Hello, hello. Happy Monday, everyone. Hope you are all doing fantastic. I've been kind of slow moving this morning. I'm not quite sure why. It just is. I think because it's cold. If you haven't noticed, I don't like that much. I have my hudgy tea here with me. Hello, hello. How are you? Just give it a minute. Let some some other people hop on. How are you? I'm trying to get warm. Like I woke up. You know when you wake up and you're just cold and everything you do doesn't help you get warm. That's kind of where I'm at right now. Hello, hello. For those that don't know me, my name is Jen. Um, I own Stardust Wanderer Tarot. So be sure to go over, check my ID out. Um, and I also am creating a deck. So in my bio, there's a Kickstarter notification there. So make sure to um, hop on and sign up for that. It's so, ex it's so exciting. I just got um, the final magician card and I wish I could share it with everyone right now. It's so cool. It's so cool. But my artist was also, she lives like in Oregon and they were without power for like almost a week. And she's like, I'm tired of living in the 1800s. <laughs> I'm like, I don't blame you. It's just, they had so much ice, like, and, you know, she's, like, in a wooded area, like, so much ice. And it's kind of, it's kind of weird because it's, I guess it's kind of what happened in Texas, but obviously, you know, Oregon is a little more prepared for that type of thing, but down lines are down lines, no matter where you are. So, there's that. All right. All right, I guess we can start getting getting on with it here in a second. Hello, hello. So what I've been doing the last couple of weeks, and it just turned out to be really kind of fun, actually, is I'm trying to, like, push the wave button, and it's making my whole phone bounce. Um, I usually will just pull a card for each sign of the zodiac, but I've also been pulling an oracle card. Good morning. And with it to kind of accompany it and I don't know it's been very interesting and fun and so I think I'm going to continue doing that because I kind of I'm vibing with it so right we're gonna go with it so I have to like clear my space here so I make him because it's a lot of cards at the end of the day you know a lot of cards when you're pulling both hello hello hey everyone hello hello we're gonna get started here in a second um I am going to use today, and they, you know, I know a lot of people like to pull cards, um, when they pull like an oracle card with a tarot card that it's, um, you know, they kind of cohesive together. Oh, I love those emojis. Thank you. But I don't know. I am random and I like to just, I like them to be kind of different because I feel like that kind of adds like an extra layer to it, you know? So, um, the card, when I pull the, the tarot and then an oral card, they're not always like what everybody would assume would be the ones that are like cohesive. They go together. They look pretty together. Hello. Hello. Oh, actually, now that I'm seeing this chakra healing tarot is Kickstarter is starting this week. So make sure you go onto their IG and get sor sorted and ready for that. I'm all ready to go. Um, that's so exciting. Um, we've been watching the process of her deck being created. So I'm super excited to see that. Um, and so go check that out. It's Chakra Healing Tarot and get ready to get it going. Yay. Cause it's going to be awesome. It's going to be fantastic. And that's all the, the vibes are going out there. So we, um, and also to make sure to head over to mine. I was just saying I got my magician card and it's like every time I get a new card um and I'm sure you totally get this too uh like every time I get a new card it's my new favorite card <laughs> until I get the next card <laughs> so 
<laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah, throw your throw your um, IG down at the um, in the comments so that people can go go find you and get that party started over there. Um, but yeah, so it's like every time I get a card, she gets like finishes a card for me, then that's my new favorite card until the next one comes out, and then I'm like, oh, this is my favorite one. So yeah, so that's gonna happen probably seventy eight times, and it's fine, right? So today, um, I want to use, I'm going to use the movie Tarot, just because it's fun, no other reason. And then the Oracle I'm going to pull, like I said, totally random, but it's the Spirit Cats, because these are so adorable. These are so adorable. Hey, Becky B. Yes, I love them. And I actually, these, there you go. Thank you. Great. So these were actually popped in my head this morning that I wanted to use. So I go over to my shelf, which is like, I need a new bookshelf for my cards. And because they're like three cards deep now. Um, so trying to find them, I, I need to organize it. I mean, there's always something we have to organize, right? There's always something. So I was trying to find this one, and I was trying to find another one, and I this is the one jumped out. So here we are, and this is what we're doing. Hello, hello. Hey, everyone. We're just getting ready to start here. Like I said, movie, I'm using the movie tarot, and then we're going to use the spirit, spirit cats for the oracle because that's what I've been doing the last few weeks, and it's just been fun. So let's see what we got here. This actually is a cool little book. Oh, look, I pulled right over here to Jareth. My favorite. I'm obsessed with David Bowie and Labyrinth. And I am not ashamed to say it, okay? It's just what it is. I've been obsessed ever since. I actually have a tattoo of Jareth on my arm. Look, I got so excited. I threw my cards everywhere. All right, so we're going to pull, uh, pull a card for each sign of the zodiac and an oracle card to go with it and see what we got. And we have, what do we have going on here? Um, I know we are in the moons in Cancer right now. So we have that going on, feels and all that fun stuff. Mercury is out of Gatorade. <laughs> That's what I like to say. I made a, I made a, like a meme on my um, Instagram that said that. So we made it, we got it through. That was a tough one. And, you know, I really like to go with, you know, rest, reset, and that sort of thing. But boy, was that testing. That just tested me. And I usually don't always have the issues with, the like, technological things. But this time around, I did. And it was very weird to me. Like, I wasn't used to that situation. All right. Hello, hello. I keep saying we're getting started, but I keep rambling. So here's the spirit cats and she has a really cute um calendar as well and these are cool too because i like these that because they have the card and then it has the like saying on the back and the name of the card on the back so <laughs> i had to do it like i was seriously like in my car we were going somewhere and it just popped in my head and I've, I've like said to my husband and he just looks at me and shakes his head. He just, he does this like pretty much all the time. And I kind of live for it now because I just know that means I'm being ridiculous and I'm on the right track because that's where I like to live. You know, it's okay. It's a good place. Yes. Labyrinth is my favorite. Actually, my arm is like a whole like eighties movies, movie sleeve type situation. So I have a thing. I, oh, that's just how it is. All right, let's go. Let's start with Aries. So for Aries, we got three of coins. So this week, um, it's time to really, you know, I, I want to say like work together, but this one, I feel like it's time to take steps. You know, um, it's time to like get the things going. Like, even here, like, I don't know why, just three action steps. I don't know, maybe just the way these are situated, but that's what's calling out to me right now. So, Aries, take three action steps towards whatever goal that you are trying to trying to achieve and make successful. We'll do that. So, what Oracle card? What kitty do you get today, Aries? I can pick it up. Oh, look it. This is Glow. 
She shines her warm light into our dark places. She illuminates our fears and shadows, giving us the courage to face them, to unravel them, and to bring healing. Sometimes it may be easier to take the long route and around the dark forest within, but Glow knows that true ease comes from presence, not avoidance. So carry her with you as you're journeying to the depths of your heart and soul. Let her loving light warm the places of shame, hurt, sadness, disappointment, anger, and guilt. She can turn the darkest twisted forest into a golden cove of love. Isn't that pretty? So I think with these two together is it's it's just it's time, you know, and I kind of feel like these are these are so yellow to me. Like they just like glowing. Like take those steps. Don't be afraid to do that. Like dig deep. You know, have have glow. You know, imagine glow following you around, kind of giving you the little nudge to take take action and get going with things. So that's what we have for you, Aries. Next we have Taurus. So Taurus is four of swords. So what are you, what, what is kind of stuck in your head this week? What's playing on repeat? Um, I feel like that's just what this card is really, um, going for. Like, I don't know. I feel like these cards are very like intuitive for me. Like they're just like popping out like things. So that's very interesting. This one, I like that. I'll take it. So yeah, so what what has kind of been just, you know, marinating in your head that these thoughts that maybe are on repeat that you need to kind of take a peek at and see what you can do to kind of break that cycle of those, um, you know, I don't want to say obsessive thoughts, but the, you know, those repeating thoughts, like what can you do Taurus to move past that this week? And our card for Taurus is patience. That works, right? That works. So have patience with yourself, with whatever these, you know, whatever these thoughts that are kind of popping in your head, have patience with yourself. So this is Snug Puff. She transmutes our restless urgency and are we there yet complaints into the appreciation of what it is now. Let go of everything that has come, that will come after this moment and have faith that you are exactly where you need to be. Draw a circle around the present moment and relax into Snug Puff curled up on your lap. Sometimes we believe we need to be at our destination right now, but there is so much to be learned and discovered right where we are. Let's be patient with ourselves, our loved ones, and the world around us. So yeah, so this really, I think, like I said, it's just be patient with yourself and really, you know, not worry about everything else going on around you. Just focus on what kind of what's going on in your head this week, you know, and, and maybe there's some sorting out you need to do. Maybe there's some thoughts that you were kind of, you know, pushing back, like you didn't want to deal with, but now's the time to do it. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. <clears throat> All right. What do we have next? So we have the six of swords for you, Gemini. So what, what are you, what are you working towards? What are you trying to, um, like, where are you trying to get to this week? What are the, what is your mindset in that? Are you defeated? Are you inspired? How are you coming across? How are you leading into this week right now? And if it's not the most positive way, maybe that's something to think about and consider, like how you can look into that and see. Lots of thinking going on this week, huh? I guess it's after all this, you know, retrograde stuff. Everybody's like brain hurts. So now they have to just start thinking about all the things they were putting off. So we have play. Oh, this is so cute. I love the colors. It's kind of like my hair. This is Pippa of the Dream Circus. Some kitties come straight out of the imagination to remind us to play. Here's a moment here is to the moment of dancing, twinkling toes, and laughter. Where most only it see empty air, Pippa sees colorful tweeting birds doing a tantalizing munette and errant butterflies playing peekaboo, urging her to chase. To play is to do something for pure joy and doing. It is frolicking mix of experimentation, curiosity, and absurdity. Where can you let more of Pippa's, Pippa's playful spirit and lighthearted air work into your life? So, you know, again, like, how are you presenting? Maybe you need to present in a more playful way. Maybe you are being too serious 
And this week, you need to be a little more playful and a little more open to um, what's going on around you or just how you're approaching a situation. You know, that's something to consider as well. And Pippa says so. We must listen to Pippa. All right, Geminis, you must listen. Listen to Pippa. I love that name. That's so cute. I want a cat. I want an orange cat named Pippa. I can't have any kitties, though, because everybody in my house is super allergic. That's why we have Simon. So, it's okay. It's okay. So, we got for um, Cancer, Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Lots of swords energy popping up this week, right? Like, okay, fine. What was it last week we had? The moon popped up a million times, right? This is just all the swords we're going to pull. So, for Cancer, um, you know, Knights of Moving Energy... So this week, maybe thinking about working on communicating and communicating with others instead of just keeping it inside. This week, start the conversation. That's what you need to do this week, Cancer. Um, you need to start the conversation, which may not always be easy for you. And you might be like, yeah, probably not going to do that. But sometimes even just, just a nudge or even the thought of it, like do something to move forward in communication. So that's something to focus on. Let's see what kitty we got for this. Majesty. This is Majesty. She's pretty. I like the like stuff on top of her head there. Uh, she lives inside each one of us. She is the queen of the vulnerable heart, the yearning soul, and the seeking mind. She helps us see our majesty, helps us to honor our gifts, hone our skills, and be true to our word. Let us not diminish ourselves with endless self-criticism and self-negotiation. We must wear our crown of light and love with confidence, grace, and generosity of spirit. We all have something to teach and share with our fellows. Cultivate kindness and respect towards yourself so that your gifts may flourish and be shared freely with those around you. And this actually like goes like so well with that. Hey, everyone. We're just going through the zodiac here. I know, oh my gosh, Mary. Ah, no. <laughs> Thanks for hopping in and saying, hanging out. Um, so we are at, we're at Cancer right now. So we're pulling a card, Oracle card. And Majesty is all about being vulnerable and really about being true to your word, which this is like what I, this card, it goes with really well. Like I'm just saying, like you need to really, you know, start communicating, start really moving out into the world and, and say what you mean and mean what you say, right? So get that moving. And that's what we had for you, Cancer. So now we're going to Leo. Hello, hello. So Leo, what do we got for you, Leos? All right. So for Leo, we have the Page of Cups. So for you, you know, emotions might be popping up for you this week, and it's really, there's a reason why they're popping up. There's a reason why um, these emotions, you know, there's a reason why these things are bubbling up. Why are they bubbling up? Take a minute and pay attention to that. Pay attention to what, what it is, like what's bubbling up out of that cup, right? He's got a fish. What do you have, right? Look at there and see, see what's going on in your cup and see what you know, maybe it's time for you to loosen up a little bit, you know, maybe it's time to um, really start sharing your emotions with others. And you may feel weird doing it or you're like, yeah, it's kind of kiddish. That's okay. You know, I mean, come on, we go around and we have memes, we have all these funny like emojis and stuff like that. Take advantage of it, you know, be that page and, you know, have fun with it. And do that. I like that. So Leo, what do we have for you? We have Bliss. Oh, look how sweet she is. Oh, I love her. Um, this is Camellia. She's in full bloom, reading delight. When something challenging happens, we often ask ourselves, what can we learn from this? Camilla is here to remind us not to overlook the possibility that some of life's most poignant lessons come from moments of ecstatic bliss. So that really kind of is going with that, right? Like that's just about you know, try, you know, being sure to, 
um, you know, look in your cup and see what's there and, and, and share that with others, you know? So this is what Bliss is telling us to do, right? So this is an invitation to embrace all that is marvelous in your life. And, you know, let that overcome you. Let you bask in that limitless love. Limitless love. Ooh, that's a hard word. And, you know, really feel it and share that. And like I said, be that page. You know, do something fun. Do something silly for someone. Even if it's just sending them some silly gift. Just to let them know you're thinking about them. And how you're feeling. So, there is that one. And that was Leo. So, next we are going to... All right. So we have Virgo. Virgo. I love my Virgos. I do. So here's, oh, look, this is funny. <laughs> it's the Godfather. The hair font. All right, Virgo. So this week, you know, I think it's all about balancing all that's around you, right? So ba balancing your head, balancing your heart. And really just um, trying to make that something, just be very mindful of it this week. Don't get caught up in, in totally how you're feeling or don't get caught up in all of the things you have to do. It's bringing it together and making it so that they can work together and know that, you know, it's going to work out. You have that knowledge that you need to reorganize things that you have to organize and stuff like that. So really pay attention to that. Pay attention to connecting the head and the heart this week. So that's what we have for you, Virgo. And let's see. And look at the Godfather is saying so. I want to mess with him. So we have intuition. This is Ghost Kitten. Oh, look it. So Ghost Kitten, um, she's the light within us that helps us guide us through our life. She was always beckoning, beckoning us to enter our inner world, inner world, dig deep, and meet her there. If you are quiet, you can hear her whispering to you, perhaps about a creative project or person you should reach out to, even leaving a stifling job. Ghost Kitty's not playing. She's like, quit your job if you don't like it. <laughs> Play with play with what makes her whispers louder and clearer to you meditation sleeping of taking a shower so again i think too that's just you know honoring you know honoring that balance in yourself you know i do think that definitely will go together and look at like such extremes of what we have going on here the godfather and ghost kitten but I think it's pretty, you know, the name is there. So I think that's really something for you, Virgo, to pay attention to, you know. You know, again, it's balancing that head and the heart. Like, you know, you know maybe you have to get all this stuff done this week. But your heart is calling you to do something creative or fun. So put them together. Like, see what you can do. Like, be creative and, and really work on that connection. So that is something for you, Virgos, this week. Hey, Amber. So now we are to, let's see, we are to Libra, 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 and I'm a Libra, a Libra son anyway. All right, let's see, we got Libras. So we have the Queen of Wands. Ooh, that's Katniss. Ooh, I haven't, I haven't like seen that in a really long time. So this week, you Libra, it's action. Time for action. Time to own that action. Um, you know, but you want to have action with empathy as well. So take those action steps that you need. Move forward with whatever it is that you hope to move forward, but do it in an empathetic way. So make sure you're just, you know, not doing not doing things or taking action for other people. Just be mindful of it. Like pay attention to kind of how your 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 the reaction to your action how about that that's what we have to do this week libra that's for you Woo, and that just like jumped out so the card we got this is kind of funny look we got adventure this is a lion mew so he's an adventurer an explorer traveler and seeker of lost worlds he likes to find the wind rippling his fur and the excitement of not quite knowing what he might discover next it is time to leave safe havens of your comfy home and routine to seek out distant shores and unknown lands. Widen your circle of experience and step into the different point of view. Distance and diversity comes, gives us a shift in perspective. 
Home never looks the same from afar. Remember the journey outward illuminates the journey journey inward. Life is an adventure. So that like kind of really see that goes well with that, right? So Lion Mew and Katniss, they're BFFs right now. They know it's time to take that action and it's time to, you know, really be mind like feel the action that you're taking and 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 be excited about it, you know. So that's what we have for you. Libra. I like that. That's good. And also too, um, if anyone wants me to pull a card for them, I can certainly do that. You can actually, you can just say, you can pull a card, or if you have a specific question in mind, then um, you can do that too. So there we go. And that brings us to Scorpio. All right. Let's do this. What do we got for you, Scorpio? I feel like these cards are kind of sassy, right? So, all right. So we got seven of wands. Look at that. I love the colors in these cards. They're just so vibrant. Like, you're just like, whoa, this is what I need to do right now, right? So for seven of wands, you know, again, it's just that moving, that get going energy card, right? And this is for Scorpio. So you know, that fire, like, what steps are you taking right now? What are you doing to really, you know, get whatever, you know, I feel like there's more of something if you're manifesting something, or you are, you know, trying to get something to happen, you know, whatever little victories along the way, definitely celebrate them and know that they're the stepping stone to the next thing. Um, so I really think that, um, it's super interest. It's super interesting to me. Like, definitely pay attention to that. Definitely pay attention to what 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 are, what are those little stepping stones, and how are they moving you forward, and what can you do to make them even more effective in your week this week. So there's that. Um, let's see what here. So there is this guy. I put out the bait and made a story. I don't do stories. Saw so he looked at my story. Is this man interested? Ooh, all right. Let me pull a card for Scorpio so I don't lose my place. And then we are going to look into that. So we have mystery. Oh, look how pretty this one is. I love this one. So mystery, this is Esmeralda. She's a sweet unknown and a lore of endless mystery. There are things that are impossible for our human minds to fully comprehend. The future is often obscured from our view. Yet we will still we still must make decisions about knowing the ultimate outcome. The mystery can feel dazzling and full of possibilities, or it could be ominous and freeze us in our tracks. Esmeralda beckons us to make peace with the mystery. Let the great unknown sit beside you as you wash the dishes and fall in love and write the story and live your strange and winding life. So that, I think that just, that really goes really well with this, you know, and it's, it's saying like, you know, what are those things? What are, what's happening to you? What are these unknown things that are happening to you? Pay attention to what, when it does happen and why is it happening? Is it helping me? It can help move me forward and get me to the end of this, right? I know. I love it. It's like so many colors. So yeah. So that's something for you to think about. Let's throw these bad boys back in here. I'm going to do a little shuffle because... <laughs> He's a Scorpio moon. All right. Let's see. Is this man interested? Our story man. <laughs> yes, the blues and greens are really pretty. I it, I love this that deck. Um, it's just like like watercolor. It's very soft, but they they don't play around these kitties. They really don't. All right. So let's see. Is he interested? What do we got? We have the three of coins that popped up again. So for me, I don't know. I am, I feel like I, you know, I feel like he's interested, but, but there may be somebody else on the perimeter of it, you know, um, <laughs> there may, you know, maybe there's either a person or I feel like a situation that's holding it back. Bye. Bye. Um, you know, and I, I feel like, like, I kind of like, it almost to me is like, these are like you and him, and then there's something in the middle that's blocking it. So I feel like that it's getting there, 
like you're getting there, but there's either a person or a situation. I, I feel more it's like a situational thing. Like something is going on. Um, you know, I feel like there's a situation holding it back. You know, it's almost like once we get the situation, this will kind of float off to the side and then these two will come together. Does that make sense? Like that's what I'm like, I'm imagining this card moving in my head right now. Like that's what's happening. So I, I do feel like that's what is holding you back. I do think he's interested, but it's that situation. I was <laughs> yay. So I think that is what, that's that on our stories, man. Because that's what I'm just calling them right now. All right, where are we? See, I have to write it down because if I, I guess Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, what do we got for you today? Let's see. I feel like these cards are just, they're not messing around. They're being very deep. Let's see. All right. So we have the Ace of Cups for you. Ace of Cups, Sagittarius. What are you starting? What is some new adventure? What is new? What is this new situation? New feeling? Um, he feels he doesn't have enough materialism to bring into the relationship. It's what I feel for sure. That's interesting. That's interesting that that would be what would be holding him back. And that's something I would definitely think about that. Yeah, I would, I would definitely try to break that down a little bit and see, you know, dive a little deeper and see what, what, like what the limiting beliefs are there that that would be enough to hold him back. Is that right? You know what I mean? Does that make sense? So that's definitely something to consider. You have to keep us posted on that. So what are you starting? What I feel like this week is, um, you know, I think it's more about relationships than anything, than new projects or anything, Sagittarius. Um, you're very welcome. Um, I do think that you need to really, um, you know, jump. Uh, if there's a situation or something that you enjoy and you want to happen, you need to jump on it. You need to get moving. So I think that's really what this card is telling us for you, Sagittarius, this week. Like, it's time. It's time to just get moving. So the card that popped out here let's see trust that even works even better right so trust the process of this right trust that process and this is Safi oh my gosh she's so cute look at him uh trust begins as an agreement she makes with the flame in her heart she agrees to let it guide her even when it beckons her deep into the night forest of the unknown when she trusts the darkness is illuminated and the forest sparkles with her heart light she may not know exactly where the path leads, but she trusts the enchantment of the journey born of intuition. What, are you truly, what you truly seek awaits you. Trust yourself. Step into the forest and bring your wild quest towards the longing of your soul. That's so sweet, right? Like, I really like that. So, you know, again, trust yourself. You know, trust your, you know, Safi is telling you to trust yourself as you move into these, these situations and these things this week that, that may be calling to you. And it's time to kind of start, take action with them. So that's what we got for you, Sagittarius. I love that. That's really nice. See, these kitties are getting me all in the feels about it. All right. Here we go. So we have Capricorn. What do we got for you, Capricorn? And we have for you the Eight of Coins. Eight of Coins. So I feel like this week for you, Capricorn... Um, you know, it's time to really start grounding your energy. It's really start, you know, you maybe have like ideas, you may have some situations going on, but it's starting, it's time to start like bringing them down and bringing them into the here and now and excuse me, and work on them and really solidify, um, how you want it to go, what you want it to do and, you know, bring it home, basically, you know, it's time to do that. It's time to work on those things and really just bring them home. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn, this week. And our kitty we got is Magic Maker. This is Lynx. See, that one goes really well, too. She's a sorceress, shaman, and witch cat. She's a part of you that creates a magical brew of intention and action that results in manifestations beyond your wildest dreams. She can usher in deep healing and revolutionary transformations, turn inward, connect to the powerful current of your life force, and conduct, conduct that energy into creations for the good of all. 
You have everything you need within you. Don't hold back. The world needs your magic. Claim your place at the table, dreamers and magic makers. Links will meet you there. So links is like, yeah, it's time. Bring your stuff home. Bring it home. Make everything yours. Claim it and create it. So that's what we have for you. Look how cute that is. I'm going to say that all of them because these are just so adorable. So we have Aquarius next. Woo. These guys are jumpy. They just keep trying to like run away from me. All right. So what do we got for you, Aquarius? We have the Seven of Swords. So many thinks today. <laughs> I feel like I pulled so many swords. So, um, you know, I think this is the time for you, um, Aquarius, you know, okay, bye. Um, I think it's time for you to really um, try to stop overthinking things and trying to not let that drag you down. It's time for you to, um, you know, kind of clear your mind and really stop letting what other people say, um, affect you and things like that affect you and like people you know their little comments affect you it's time to clear that out of your head and it's time to like really focus your thoughts and realize that you create you create your uni universe you know we can't change <clears throat> We can't change what people say or do, but we can change how we react to it. So I think that's something to keep in mind for you this week, Aquarius, for sure. So let's see what kitty we have here for you. So we have Vision. Oh, she's pretty. So this is Stargazer. Some say your head is in the clouds, but the view is better from up here. She can see the big picture beyond our normal sight. She can see beyond small increments of time to the vastness of years, decades, and even eternity. Take a step back and see your life through Stargazer's eyes. What visions do you have for your life? They might appear fuzzy or absent if you're afraid to take the actions you are called to make. Acknowledge those fears and ask them to step aside and parting clouds until you are able to truly see. Let your visions be a beacon of calling you forth. So that's exactly, you know, that's, it, it's so ex just what we we're talking about like stop worrying about what everyone's saying what everything is going on just do you and really pay attention to that all right aquarius that's what we got for you and that brings us to pisces so also too for those that don't know me i am jen uh i own stardust wanderer tarot i am creating a deck by the same name so be sure to head over to my Instagram, say hi, and sign up for my Kickstarter alert. It's kind of like the pre-pre alert there. We're getting there. She just, I just got also, like, actually today I'm supposed to get a whole, like, another 10 batch of, um, like, sketches. And then I have to go through them, make sure everything's there, everybody's in the right spot in the card. And then I prove them all, and then she starts doing, like, a color um, like color test to test all the colors if that's what we're wanting and then she draws the cards it's such a process and it's one of those things I'm looking at the card and I'm like I hope everything's here everything looks like it's here but it's one of those that you always forget you always feel like you're gonna forget something <laughs> I don't think I do she's usually good at catching some little things too so that's good all right so Pisces this week you're gonna butt heads with somebody um, or they're going to get into kind of in the middle of your, your stuff, you know, like they're going to be butting into your situations. They may be having some snarky things to say about it. They're just getting in the way. Like somebody may be in the way this week. You know what? Just take it with a grain of salt. Okay. Thank you. And let it go. It's like if you have kids when you are pregnant or you have a new baby and people just give you all the advice that you really don't need and you just smile, nod, thank you. I feel like that's what you need to do this week. And that'll really help you to avoid any conflict that doesn't serve you or you don't need. So that's what I have for you this week. So definitely pay attention to that and know that, you know, be prepared. Like, okay, I see this happening. I see the situation starting to roll out. I'm going to be graceful. I'm not going to get involved. I'm not going to just get in the middle of this conflict and have to deal with all the extra stuff from it. I'm just going to be like, okay, this is what it is. Let's move on 
and try to just really not get involved because um, I feel like whatever it is or whoever it is, they they kind of want the like they want the interaction of this conflict. So don't give it to them. Just don't do it. That's my advice. Let's see what the kitty has to say. All right. And we have Zed. Look, this is Zed. Look <laughs> how cute he is. Um, he might not look like your ordinary house cat, but in fact, he is one. He doesn't come from outer space or from a far off land. He lives just around the corner. He's the maker of his own kittyverse. He's constantly recreating himself to mirror the infinite possibilities of his imagination. Today he's purple and green, but tomorrow he might be made of flowers, and the next day he might have stars for eyes. We are all in constant state of becoming. We don't need to always stick with the familiar A, B, and C. Sometimes we need, we can reach for Z. So that really kind of goes well with that too, right? So instead of going into that old, old, old pattern of jumping into the conflict, be Z, turn into flowers, and just be like, kill him with kindness, and that's it, and don't engage. So that's what Zed has for you today. See, wise words from Zed. We should all be listening to him. So yeah, so that brings us to the end. If you guys, if anyone wants me to pull a card, I can do that as well. Because I'm trying to organize all my kitties here. But um, that was fun. See, I, I like doing it with the Oracle card too because um, I feel like it just kind of brings that extra little insight and into it you know um so yeah that's that's about what i have here for you if no one wants me to pull a card for them um all right you have two let's see what is the best guidance on being patient with myself all right let's see becky Bay. let's see what we got the emperor so this, you know, it's such an interesting card. Um, being patient with yourself. I think this is really, I feel like it's like, don't be too hard on yourself. You know, don't be the emperor to yourself right now. Don't be like, this is how I'm supposed to be acting. This is how I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I think don't, you know, this is being like, don't be the emperor of yourself. You know, you need to be, I would say, pull more of an empress energy. You need to be kind to yourself and give yourself some you know, some, some patience for yourself and maybe even just, um, taking a minute to just kind of ground, um, you know, another thing is just, just mindfulness, like breathing. And when you start feeling like you're getting impatient with yourself, like just stop, you know, and, and, you know, I always, I, I always used to say this to my kids and I tell you, I say this to so many people is stop, breathe and count to three, right? You're getting impatient with yourself stop, breathe, count to three, and reevaluate. Re like, wait a minute. Why am I being impatient with myself? It doesn't, it isn't that bad, right? So I think that is something for you to definitely practice is just being more mindful of when those things happen and what those triggers are. So that's what I have for you, Becky. You said you had another one? Lay it on me. What else we got? Any other questions? There we go. What is the best advice to develop and bring out inner strength and believe in myself? Really rough re weekend. I'm sorry to hear that, Becky. Oh, well, poo on that. I do believe this tail end of retrograde, though, like went out with like a nasty little tail flip. Like, oh, yeah, here we go. Let me just flip some other things in there. So I definitely can see that happening as a part of it too. All right, let's see. What do we got? All right, Becky. So we have the King of Swords. So this is really your inner strength, believing in yourself, right? Is, yeah, it really was. <laughs> it really was. And I'm usually not super affected. Like I really try to do the rest, reset, you know, and that sort of thing. But I don't know, this one got me. <laughs> But all right, so Becky, um, you know what? Meaning saying what you mean and mean what you say. So I really think for you is to start taking some action steps about speaking for yourself and speaking your true intentions and not just saying what you think everyone wants to hear. 
And that's really sounds really scary at first, right? Like that's a really scary thing to be like, oh, I know if I say this, like I'm pissing off all the people, right? Start small, you know, start by saying no, start by saying no to something, um, work on that first. And really, even though it seems so little, it, it really changes so much once you start getting into the habit of it. And all the habits, it takes 21 days to develop or break a habit. So it's going to take time. And I think just being consistent with that and, you know, set a goal for yourself. You know what? This week, I'm going to say no to t at least two things that I really don't need to be doing. And I always have the saying, too, is that, like, is this my problem, right? Is this really, really my problem? If it is, then fine, it is. But a good chunk of the time, it's usually not your problem. And that can really help you know when to say no you know, and when it's like, you know what, this isn't my problem. I really don't need to get involved in this. Like the outcome has nothing to do with me. So that is something to think about too. And if it does have something to do with you, you know, instead of just answering right away, think on it and be like, listen, do I need to go this way or do I need to go this way? What is, how do you feel and not worrying about what everyone else feels? So I would definitely try to work on that and I think after some time of doing that, you'll really see, you'll really start trusting your intuition a little more and you'll trusting yourself, you know, in turn, trusting yourself, you know, it, it all just kind of falls in place after that. So yeah, so that's what I have for you, Becky. I feel like I gave you a lot of homework this week, right? <laughs> but it's all, it's good. And you know what, take it little baby steps because that's the way we got to do it. We got to do baby steps. Anything big gets overwhelming and then we're like, forget it. So just start with baby steps, say no a couple of times and think about it and really choose your words carefully and not worry about so much how it, how other people are going to react to that as long as it's true to you. Hugs to you and I hope your week gets better. I hope it does, Becky. So yeah, so uh, that's what I have for you um, this week. Um, I will be back here Monday um, at 9 Pacific, 12 noon and um we'll be have another deck another oracle deck and chit chat and whatever um and also too if there's ever anything that you guys would want to know more about um with tarot or chakras or different crystals and things like that um definitely like throw it in the comments or whatever i'm up for doing that the last couple times it's already been i try to keep it like under an hour because you know anything over an hour we usually kind of lose you know I mean, I know I do. It's hard and we have a lot of things to do. But, you know, I have, I would love to be able to help you guys out if there's something that you want to look, know a little bit more about as well. So make sure to check over at my Instagram Instagram page, Stardust Wonder Tarot. Taro, say hello to me and I will see you all next week. All right. Thanks. Bye.